Hey everybody, it's Dr. Tay. Welcome to my show, Kitchen Science, where I'm gonna show you how to have fun through science without leaving your home. So let's get started. Today, we're gonna make lava lamps. So in order to do this, you have to get the following supplies. A container with a top, antacids, water, food coloring, and oil. And if you're going to be teaching kids the concept of density, it would be wise to pick an oil that has a color to it. The principles we'll learn today are density, reactions, and hydrophobic. Are you ready? Let's get started. Step one, we're gonna add one part water to our bottles. For today's demonstration, I'm gonna show you our lava lamp using a big vase. So first, add one part water. And it could be one part water, two parts oil, or one part water, three parts oil. It's really up to you. I just prefer to have more oil than water because you see a little bit more fun in the exchange between the water and the oil and the food coloring. Second, you're gonna add your oil. So as I said, about two or three parts oil. Notice that the water stays below the oil. That's because water is more dense than oil. So what's density? Density is how many molecules are packed inside one certain volume of liquid. If you wanna calculate density, you'll have to divide mass by the volume of that particular liquid. Now we'll add about three to six drops of food coloring. I'm going to pick green and blue, about three green and three of blue. It's three green and three blue. Now don't worry about mixing your reaction. It's going to do this on its own when we add our antacids, which is the next step. We're gonna add a few tablets after breaking them up of antacids into your container. Now, as you see, when I add the antacids, it creates what's called a reaction. A reaction is when you have two things or more that come together and they change the components of each other. So in this experiment, the antacid is mixing with the water and giving off carbon bubbles of gas which mixes your food coloring and gives off your lava lamp look, as you can see. So cool. Now, as the reaction settles, you can reset it by adding more of the antacids. These are old reactions or old lava lamps here. And as you can see, when I add my antacid, even though it's old and it's already settled, it mixes again, creating that carbon bubbling and my lava lamp is reactivated. Also notice that the water and the oil separates when it has settled. This is because oil is hydrophobic. What is hydrophobic? Well, hydrophobic means that that particular liquid does not mix well in water. In other words, oil fears water. This concludes today's experiment. I hope you had fun because I did. Thank you and come back soon for more Kitchen Science.